I will not tell you to answer the uh, again the same question which we have been repeating for a long time. Now let me reveal it. There are the more things you are required to understand because uh, thoroughly I have shown you all the uh, power sequence as per the uh, Dell power sequence or the any common power sequence. This is written and you have checked it and you have even more you have checked like 32 kilohertz is not written over there. But still you have checked it and you found that H and everything is working absolutely fine. Then can we say that uh, we haven't found the D bonds logic. So might be your SIO is faulty or your PCH. But I'm damn sure in this board there is no PCH faulty. There is no uh, SIO is faulty then what is the faulty things so here if you talk about the rtc we have uh, around the four and six hour classes of the rtc sections there we have described that what is the inputs of the rtc and what are the roles of that signal what is the output of that signals uh, which we achieve and uh, what is the role of that output signals so each and everything we have described in our videos so if you are interested to enhance your knowledge i know that you work and you are good at laptop repairing but if you want to enhance your knowledge and you want to be confident in the repairing then you must avail our video courses so if you are interested then you must contact on the given number i request you to whatsapp prefer to whatsapp us because we have less time a whole day long i keep on making the videos and repairing the customer's laptop so i really apologize that we cannot pick up your calls but we will try to improve it to respond to you as soon as possible so now the thing is that the four and five signals which are required to complete the rtc entire sections among them the first is the rtc vcc we have checked that was the absolutely fine now the second comes the rtc reset that is for the registry reset of the pch 32 kilohertz crystal and also that is responsible to re reset the entire registry memory of the two 256 kilobyte of the motorola ic which is used inside the rtc section and uh, the third one is the SRTC reset. That is the secondary reset, which is responsible to look after the management issue, like power management issue, which is required to manage the, like the laptop is in the, what is state, like is SOS state, or it is on the S3 state, or it is on the fourth state. So that looks after that management issue. After that, you will get the enter vram enable section like uh, internally there is a 1.05 volt regulator and that will be enabled through that signal and also so on there are the so many signals you will come to know in the depth discussion in our video classes so now only thing you have to check here that uh, one thing you have checked that was the rtc reset and it was absolutely fine now let's come and check the srtc that looks after the power management issues so here we need to find anyhow c2401 let's find it so two four two four zero one i think uh, nearby or just behind the rtc area two four zero one okay it is here once again let me confirm it c2401 yes absolutely right the same one and the rtc rtc cmos cell is still present on the board now we need to check the voltage okay with the help of multimeter i am checking just to confirm see here we have 0 0.9 not even one volt we don't have even one volt. However, it would be coming through across a register. Maybe the register is open. Now let's check. What is the number? R2402. 2402. R2402. This one. So let's check before that. Do we get the appropriate voltage? So it has. It has 2.7 volt and uh, on the output now let's check so maybe it is open 
So do one thing. First check this register value. Set it on the ohms. And now let's check the value. Okay, if you have this types of problem, like it is saying you that it must have 20 kilo. It is 20 kilo ohm register and it is also 20 kilo ohm register. So if you get this types of problem, remove the coin cell from the board. So let me remove it. In order to just uh, find out that, so do we have the right value of that register or not? Now let's check again. Okay. So absolutely right. We have around 15 kilo ohm. So that is good. That works. Now here, we just move the prob and now we have 19.786, around 20 kilo ohm. It is absolutely fine. Then maybe my PCH is faulty. This is the point here you can sure that whether if register is okay, the problem is either on the capacitor or in your PCH. I will remove this uh, capacitor, but before removing it, I would like to show you that's what is the problem in the capacitor if I am going to remove it. Let's find out that what is the value of this capacitor. Now, it is having 9 kilo ohm. I think PCH is gone. It's 9 kilo ohm. Now, we cannot say it is leakage. We cannot say it is short. Now, if you want to find the leakage, it is not reducing. The value is not reducing. We cannot say it is leakage even. Now, I will just remove the capacitor from the motherboard. Put some paste. So I have removed the, the, that, that capacitor. However, we have nothing left but one thing. We were unable to identify that what is the problem in the capacitor. Just because the capacitor is giving us a good value, it was not leakage, it was neither short. But we have removed it because we have left no option. Instead of changing the PCH, we rather prefer to remove the capacitor or to change first. Because this is the very tiny thing and this is the very, uh, uh, you know, a big deal to, uh, to replace the PCH. So we have just removed this capacitor. Now I will put back the coin cell again. I will put back this coin cell again into the motherboard. And I will find out that do we get any improvement. Now let's check. I have inserted the coin cell. Let's set it on the voltage and uh, this was, now we have got and uh, congratulations we have saved our PCH. So well done. Now if you wish you can use a capacitor and I think I suggest you to use it because uh, capacitor uh, reduce the ripple and glitch and uh, sometimes it leads a massive destruction. Sometimes uh, your, your PCH can be destroyed. So let me take out a scrap motherboard. So here we have a scrap motherboard. Take out. I will use it. I think this is already broken. Okay, remove someone else. So, one thing, and this is the very important thing, let me tell you. If you are going to replace the capacitor on the RTC section, you must remove CMOS cell. Okay, because uh, the only memory consist in the PCH is the RTC section. So now let's put it back on the uh, the place from where you have taken out the capacitor. 
and let's find out that do we get the voltage after replacing the capacitor if we don't we will not use it without capacitor we will try to turn the board on let's clean it okay i think it is not clear i need to apply some paste no one should uh, find out that this capacitor is replaced hey 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 <laughs> this is the secret now it looks like from the company made good find out after using the coin cell let me insert the coin cell and uh, let's find out the voltage do we get the voltage now yes we are getting now so tell me what is the reason behind it this particular tiny capacitor which i have kept here you see that it what is the limit of this capacitor so let me set it on the ohms let's check the value oil this is over limit but still it is leakage it is considered as a leakage so the purpose of making this video that sometime things are not alike as you think okay so stop the theory now let's see the practical and get some experience the very crucial and very important for you now let me switch my camera so that you can watch the entire scenario now you can see uh, the status when i will plug in the dc jack first of all let me remove the d uh, coin cell and uh, let me insert the power now you can see the light appears and it turned on so it's good thing but on and sudden off there was something wrong let me insert the ram now once again on ampere is going too much high let me use uh, heat sink i don't want to burn this uh, you know processor so I, i don't have anything to check otherwise i could have shown the display on the screen we received the board like this as per the requirement i have said to my all suppliers sub dealers whosoever send board to me if there is a battery problem send it with the dc jack motherboard heat sink and battery pack if you have dead it's not turning on send it only cpu heat sink dc jack because uh, in on the way sometime the things are broken and i would be the responsible for that so i don't want to be responsible for that now let me insert the power supply and uh, turn on on and off i think it will turn on by itself yes turning on and off now in third time because there is no rtc it will restart three times even the latest generation will restart three times more maybe four and then you will get the display no display i think late because somebody has already done the bios i'm not sure that the bios is okay or not as of now if i do not get the display then i will flush the bios i think i must change the ram slot first going up oh wow how can i get display on the keyboard somebody somebody has removed the usb uh, you know usb ic <laughs> let's have a look somebody has messed the motherboard before me so this types of board we receive 
so we must be prepared for that event now let's have a look how can i get the c this is the usb ic also this is removed from here u6301 so sorry guys i cannot show you the display but the display has come even if it is not come i will try to bring it on so i hope that you have learned in this video a lot and uh, really i appreciate you your comments uh, which are, we have got in the last video the entire laptex family is uh, very thankful to you for your comments for your love and affections so i hope that you keep on continue loving us like this way and uh, please if you like this video hit the like button and uh, if you have been watching our video and you haven't subscribed as of now please subscribe it it will be very admirable for us and uh, share this video so that other will also get benefited from this if you are required advanced level of training then you can contact on the given number even you can avail a specific section video from us you can also contact for that things on the given number so see you guys in the next video thank you for watching us